Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC video. Today I'm sharing with you guys not a team builder, but a team reveal. Now, this is a team that I've had a lot of success with on the showdown ladder and testing, and I've been hyping it up a little bit in the community tab because I think it's really solid. It is Specs in DD with Support Grim Snarl, and yes, we have Choice Scarf Dracovish. This team is the epitome of hyper offense, so if you guys are excited for it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, check out the rest of the channel if you're new. But uh, this team is just based around dealing as much damage as we can while minimizing the casualties uh, using Grim Snarl support options. Uh, but yeah, I honestly think that this team has one major flaw, and it's that it does not have the best... Uh, it does not have the best time versus Trick Room Rhyperior. That is the hardest matchup, in my opinion. Uh, mostly because even with screens up, uh, you're you're going to be able to uh, deal a lot of damage to Rhyperior, but uh, it's we're not able to take a hit after weakness policy. So that's the only issue. You have to play that very carefully. And in that situation, I kind of recommend bringing Dracovish in the lead. But yeah, uh, also saying that this team has a really nice matchup versus is Hatterene plus Indeedee because you're... You know, you ignore the follow me with choice specs hyper voice and two shot the Indeedee while three shotting the Hatterene. Also, the synergy between Indeedee and Grimmsnarl is really nice because um, Indeedee makes it so Grimmsnarl can't get faked out. It also can't click its own fake out, but it's more about screens than anything. So, uh, and Grimmsnarl can't get faked out, and it's Prankster, or it's a dark type, so Prankster taunt won't affect it. So, light screen and reflect are almost guaranteed to go up because the taunt users in this metagame. Um, are either you know slower than Grim Snarl because his prankster goes first, or they are prankster themselves and cannot uh, taunt him because of the thing that you know dark types are immune to prankster. So that's really cool. We have uh, Excadrill and Tyranitar just for hyper offense sand. I'm running Lumberry Tyranitar to possibly Dragon Dance up on something, get burnt, and then just deal damage. We're running a very bulky Citrus Berry Rotom. Uh, Will O Wisp, Volt Switch, Leaf Storm Protect, pretty standard, and we're running Choice Scarf Dracovish, which is just the standard set. Going in depth on these EVs though, this Indeedy, check this out, check this out. Indeedy, Dracovish. Vicious Rend from Adamant, Choice Scarf, oh that's the wrong one. Adamant Choice Scarf is not able to Oko us, but we are able to Oko back with Psychic, so if we end up in a... Dracovish versus Indeedy Grimmsnarl lead, we win that 100% of the time uh, if they decide not to Dynamax. Because Dynamaxing will, uh, it will be a little bit of an issue. It's less damage output from the Dracovish, so we take it a little bit better, but we're not able to one-shot it, where you're going to have to two-shot it then. Grimmsnarl is really cool too. Uh, this guy's able to take a Iron Head from Choice Banded Excadrill behind Reflect. And Light Screen's just there to cover everything, by the way. None of these are Light Screen calcs, really. They're more just... Uh, reflect calcs. Exodrill Focus Sash. It's really nice versus rain teams because I'm able to bring him in uh, on one of the max geysers, survive, and possibly revenge kill. But also I can use him to stall out a turn if I need to. If Exodrill isn't important to winning, I can use it to just have them waste their turns on it so they uh, run out of Dynamax. Just standard Tyranitar. This Rotom Bow is specifically made to wall opposing sand so tyranitar and excadrill deal very little damage to this guy the citrus berry uh gives us a little bit more longevity but uh the damage that this thing takes from excadrill i'm gonna show you this rotom cut excadrill choice band iron head is a guaranteed uh four shot possible five shot rock slide is a again is, it's once again a guaranteed uh, four shot possible five shot and we deal a lot of damage with leaf storm which is really nice versus tyranitar in sand uh we have really nice matchup too because leaf storm is going to deal major damage if we can get rid of that sand too then it's you know it has a chance to oko uh will-o-wisp is probably our main thing that we're going to want to click versus him though and yeah there isn't really much else to this team besides those calcs those are the main calcs you want to know uh but yeah as for this team as a QR code or a rental code, I forgot it's different in this generation. Uh, I'll have that ready by Friday, so I'll make another video where I'm just using this team online. And you guys can get that rental code then. But as for right now, this is just going to be a team paste and it'll be in the description down below. Along with that, I'm going to be hosting an online challenge. Uh, basically what that is, is it's a competition uh, on the Battlespot server, sort of. Uh, just type in the code that you'll see in the description down below. 
and uh, you'll be able to join that online competition. We'll be playing from 12 p.m. Saturday until 5 p.m. Saturday. That's when everyone's going to be online, and you just ladder along with other people, and I'll see who, who comes out on top. So that's really cool. But yeah, uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get some games. I want to get a couple of games, show off the team. This might be a shorter video, but uh, yeah. Also, if you are new to the channel, you know, subscribe. And I go live every uh, every night during the week. So if you aren't following me on Twitch, go ahead and follow me. Link in the description down below. And it looks like we're not connecting. Hello? There we go. That took a minute. Uh, I'll be going live tonight doing viewer battles. So check that out. It looks like we're facing hard trick room. Uh, with Oranguru as their Trick Room setter. I actually really like that because uh, Grimmsnarl and Ndidi have a very favorable matchup here. I can go for Hyper Voice into Play Rough and likely KO. Uh, I could also try to lead off with Dracovish here and just, you know, deal with everything on the field. Nothing really wants to take a hit from him, so... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to lead off with Dracovish and Grimmsnarl. I can fake out whatever I need to. I can bring uh, Tyranitar in the back to set up the sand. And... I think that's fine. I think that's what I want to do. I bring Tyranitar in the back to set up the sand on the turn. They switch in their their uh, Torkoal. Because everything on this team is pretty slow. I can just bring it in and possibly get my sand up second. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And I'll just bring Excadrill. So no Indeedee this game. There's Vileplume. Okay. So I can remove their speed benefits right now. I can remove their speed benefits immediately by uh, switching in my Tyranitar. So I think what I want to do here is light screen is definitely my best option. It's definitely my best option. The only thing is I don't want to, I don't want to get like sleep powdered, you know? I think I'd rather have Dracovish get sleep powdered than, than anything else. Because Tyranitar and Excadrill are essential to winning this game. So my play here is probably just to go for a Ficious Rend into Torkoal and set up this light screen. I could also fake out in Ficious Rend. I think I'll do that. Well, no, because they can always they can always Dynamax or Gigantamax or something. But I feel like they wouldn't Dynamax their Vileplume this turn. It just doesn't make sense unless I want to take out Grimmsnarl. My safest play is always just Light Screen. Yeah, there's the Dynamax. They're expecting the Fake Out. I get my Light Screen up. I should be able to take whatever hit I need. Yeah, that's clean. They get a special attack raise, which is, you know, a little bit unfortunate. But uh, what I can do here is now KO this Torkoal by switching in my Tyranitar. Their Vileplume loses the benefits of Chlorophyll, and uh, nothing is a safe switch in on this. Everything in the back will just straight up just, it'll just die, which is great. And unless they're running like Focus Ash Torkoal or a, you know, damage reducing berry, I should be fine. So yeah, Torkoal drops. My light screen's up. Maxus is going to do nothing to Tyranitar with the light screen and the sand up. And while they are raising their special attack, uh, I'm not too concerned. I'm really not too concerned. I anticipate them to want to go for something like a max overgrowth this turn. So I'll go ahead and I will... Um, I feel like I can protect here and just be fine. I can also switch in my Grimmsnarl on the uh, dragon type move. So I'll just protect. I mean, I could also go for Dynamaxing max darkness. That might actually be my best play. That might be my best play because I can KO the Dragapult. We'll do that. Because then I always live the, the grass type move. Dragon darts is immune. I don't take too much damage. Max darkness will go before the vile plume and KO that dragapult. He lowers the special defense too. And max overgrowth is going to do only 56% at plus two. That's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. They probably have an Oranguru in the back to set up Tailwind. or Not Tailwind. Uh, to set up Trick Room. Oh no, it's a Mudsdale. Okay, so I'll go ahead and get my Reflect up here. Uh, and I can go for this... I feel like my best play is probably max rockfall because I don't have any special attackers anyways. Yeah, I'll just max rockfall that, that vile plume. I'm not too concerned. Kind of wish I had steel spike to be honest. There's my reflect. The max rockfall is going to do a chunk to this vile plume. Oh, we're just going to KO. Nice. There's the body press for the... Not even the KO. Oh my god. Um, I don't want to attack it because I can just get the KO with Dracovish. I mean, I might as well. It doesn't really matter. 
I don't want to give it boosted defense, but I guess it really doesn't matter. Because Dracovish will just kill it anyways, yeah. Go for the play rough, we'll go for the Ficious Rend, and that'll be game. I really want to get a game with Ndidi next, though. Unfortunately, this was not the game for it. Um, because, you know, we just... We had such a good option in Dracovish, especially when we can uh, get rid of the sun whenever we need to and stop them from setting up. So that's really cool. Okay, so we're facing what might be another Trick Room team. Nothing on this team is especially fast, and uh, Cafagrius makes me think that they're going to want to set up the Trick Room. Once again, Ndidi isn't looking like the best lead because Snarl can always come out. And uh, what's Cafagrius's def his special defense stat? What's your special defense? 105. So I don't feel comfortable just going for a Psychic into it turn 1. Especially with this thing on the field. But Grimmsnarl is still looking really clean. Still looking really nice. Uh, dude, and even even Dracovish. Still. Still a threat. We'll do that. Uh, I think I just bring the same thing. I think I just bring the same thing in this game. I really don't mind the Arcanine lead. Because it's still going to drop to uh, to Ficious Rend. I can even fake out this Rillaboom here. I anticipate I anticipate a fake out into a into a burn though. So I think my best option is faking out their Arcanine on their fake out. Or while they fake out me. And I can I can actually just set up rain and win, can't I? Let's do that. Are they gonna fake out me? Yeah, there's the fake out. I get my rain up. And in the face of this, I feel like I'm going to get burnt. So I'm actually forced to switch again, which is kind of annoying. Uh, Max Geyser didn't do that much. Let me... Let me think. Get a Reflect up. Switch in my Tyranitar. I'm okay with Tyranitar getting burnt. Ooh. This is actually really nice. This is actually really nice, because I'm baiting them into wanting to go for another burn. So I can get my light screen up, go for a dragon dance, and then KO next turn with uh KO next turn with uh Crunch. But unfortunately it does switch out. He's running two he's running two Will O Wisp users, which is, you know, it's not all that common, but it's you know, it, it's 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 everything it's everything and it's nothing, you know. Getting two burns off or having two opportunities to get burns off is nice, but uh it's also like a little awkward. Because, you know, you have two support Pokemon when you could have a more offensive Arcanine. So I think here I always just go for the... I always go for the Play Rough into the Arcanine along with the Rock Slide in case my Rock Slide does not KO. Oh, and I completely forgot about Fake Out. That's my bad, guys. That's my bad. I mean, are you even that useful anymore? I'll just Rock Slide again. probably going to want to burn my Grimmsnarl, but I'm not too concerned about Grimmsnarl getting burnt. Uh, this game is 100% just Draco Vicious to win. In fact, let me um let me let my Grimmsnarl get burnt. I'll get some damage off on that Rillaboom and bring in Dracovish. Drum beating. Oh, that's going to lower my speed a bit. Uh, I am jolly, so I may outspeed this if it's... Let me think. 161, 139... That really isn't safe, but I feel like you're definitely not max speed. I feel like you're definitely not max speed, so I'm going to go for this. I might lose, but let's do it. Alright. Use knockoff. Got rid of my scarf. So, we are not safe anymore. Let me try this. Double switch. I'm fine with that. You can burn me with two Pokemon now, so that's a little annoying. Um, do you really have anything to hit me? Can I just can I just rock slide for damage? Heat wave's doing nothing. You know, trick room up. This is definitely an awkward game. Uh, it doesn't look like he's... What are you? Are you Pinchberry? No. What? I don't know. Kind of scared he's Pinchberry. We'll get damage off on Cafagrius, so Dracovish is easier to KO him with. Go for another Rock Slide. We 
do not pick up the KO as he is Pinchberry. There's the Trick Room. I can honestly just do it again. I can just do it again. Or do I want to do it again? Hmm. Hmm. I have one turn left of Light Screen. My Reflect is gone. I feel like I always... This is tough. This is really tough. I don't think you have Flare Blitz. You have Heat Wave, so you can't knock me out this turn. Let's do it again. Body Press is going to do a ton. Oh my god. Alright, now is when I always... Now is when I always do this. Uh, let me think about this. Do I get my Reflect up, or do I try to go for a KO and Protect? I mean, he's probably just going to want to... He's probably just going to want to... Go for a Will-O-Wisp and maybe a Protect or possibly an Earthquake. How much did I do at play rough? 10% or like 12%. So I have a chance to KO. It's it's really slim. I think my best play is always to do this. Stall this Trick Room a little bit more. Now he's got to choose... Um, Kind of banking on the miss. Nah, we do lose that game. Let me get one more game. Hopefully this will be an Indeedy game. Alright, we're once again facing Trick Room and... Ah, uh, weakness policy is going to be annoying here. So I'm definitely going to need to burn that guy. Rotom's going to be essential in this game. Uh, Vile Plume plus Torkoal could be a little bit, a little bit annoying. I do with that last time. I dealt with it with Dracovish. And Dracovish isn't bad either. We'll do this. I feel like this is what we do. I almost want to bring Indeedy, right? Because Indeedy just... You die, you die, you die, you die. You almost die. You probably live. I'll bring Indeedy. I don't care if I win this one. I really don't. Because I just want to use Indeedy now. Alright, this is kind of perfect, or kind of not. Um, he's probably going to want to burn my Dracovish, so I'll switch in my Indeedy here, and I'll go for a Reflect. Yeah, Reflect makes sense, because if he fakes out anything, um, then, you know, nothing, it won't happen. You know, he can't fake out me because Psychic Surge is up. I get my Reflect off. He goes for the Trick Room. This is actually really, really nice, because I can throw off a free Psychic into that. Um, I'm not too concerned about him. There's nothing here wants to switch in on a Psychic. Absolutely nothing. Let me get my light screen up now. Let me turn on this timer too. Torkoal? No, you're gone. You're gone, buddy. <laughs> Good one. Yeah, bye. Yeah, they're just going to forfeit. Okay, I... I mean, I guess I can end it there. Uh, I don't want it. I want this video to be too long because I want to showcase it on, uh, you know, the actual game. So that was just me kind of showing off how the team functions. I, I guess I got to do one thing with Indeedy this game, but believe me, guys, uh, Indeedy puts in a lot more work than this showcase was meant <laughs> than the showcase was able to do. But yeah, if you guys think the team is good, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, and yeah, you know, I'm really curious. I, I just want to know if you like it. <laughs> but I'll be back with another video tomorrow. And yeah, everyone have a nice night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to check out the Discord and everything in the description. I'll be live streaming later, blah, blah, blah. Have a nice night. Bye.